practically deserted now. We've been waiting for quite a while. Waiting for Isabella Negra, last relatives and her friends. The, the lady in the center with the bandage on her arm was the last person to see Isabella Negra alive. She was wounded. The lady on the right is Riva, the cousin. The gentleman on the left is Manolin, her adopted son. Excuse me, Sonia. Uh, forgive me for speaking to you at this moment, but... Uh, can you describe exactly what happened? There has been some confusion at the last report. The police please. are not... I can't, please. Uh, Excuse us, please. please. I have nothing to do. I'm sorry. Forgive us. This is Miguel Cintron, public cemetery in Ponce. El Pueblo Opina. Isabel La Negra. Isa, for those of you who might have known her better. Our city has respect for Isabella. Her legendary generosity was not only enjoyed by the poor people of the city, but also by our local institutions who were recipients of this same generosity. I have to admit, however, public opinion is divided on the matter. Mm -hmm. And that is why we are calling this program Isabella Negra. Angel or the devil sinner? You are very important, woman. Very, very important, my daughter. There are going to be places. You have a big destiny. 
Will I find happiness? I want to be loved by my man and be happy with him. No, no! Get out of here! There's no place here for evil spirits! No! Go away! It's your destiny. I can see things. There will be a change. I see a fight. Take the best of that. I see money. Lots of money. Big money. I don't want any money. I want him. What about him? Will he be mine? Please look and see if he will be mine alone. Isa, bless all the house with mint weeds. Spread them all over the house. Isa, protect yourself. Protect yourself. Love and harmony. Love. Protect this house. Only love and good spirits. There be love and the good influence of love. Protect this home, protect all that dwell in it. Love and harmony. Love. The light of love. Love and harmony. Love for all. What happened to you? She'll tell you what to do. Where are you going? No, no, Senor Gomez has determined that Isabel La Negra was indeed a sinner and therefore not worthy of forgiveness. The Catholic Church has denied funeral services to Isabel. Why deny Isabel a service in the church? When she, just like all of us, like the Monsignor himself, was a child of God. Call the station. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, before I start taking your phone calls, I want to announce that tomorrow night we will have in-studio guests. Davila, that's me. Cut the audio. Get that bastard off the air and throw in a commercial.
we did not act arbitrarily. The Holy Mother Church governs itself morally by its own laws. But there are some who seem to ignore this. In the few days since Isabel's unfortunate demise, the church has been the object of the vilest attacks provoked by the sad commentaries of a misinformed journalist. Today, his television program is one of the most watched, if not the one with the largest audience. Unfortunately, sensationalism sells products. Some people do not mind glorifying a person who has lived all of her life in a state of mortal sin. If it means that they will derive economic benefits, we ask those persons who are saying that they mourn Isabel's tragic death, we ask those persons who are pretending to forget her immoral and sordid way of life, we ask them to pray that she may rest in peace and that God will forgive her and have mercy on her soul. That'll be all, right? Oh, wait, I forgot the garlic. Shall I charge this to uh, Don Armandito? You don't remember me? I am your own, the sister of your mother. Oh, you look good, Isa. As usual, very good. When are you coming home? Everybody ask about you, Isa. You have not forgotten the way, have you? Isa, did you get married? Your mother must be turning in the grave. Her daughter shacked up with her whitey. Black is black and white is white. Huh. That food I could have fed the family for a whole month. Hmm. Charco! Charco! Le voy a dar un recuerdo de este amor. Teddy's right next to you. Are you kidding? Those things bite. Why don't you just stole? I worked very hard to get the party registered. Rubs don't do any harm. What is bad, Carmen? Rubs? Yes. What's going on? What's going on? Look, isn't it gorgeous? Ah, yes, I cut away. For independence, I am with Luis. But at Mandito, he doesn't believe in anything. Wants us to become an assembly. Come on, man. Hey, Tony, what's going on? One of the crabs got away. Come on, man, leave that alone. Hey, Isa, go and get that crab. Come on, man. Come on, man, leave that shit alone. Come have a drink with us. Hey. Oh, well, look who's coming, man. Isn't she sweet? Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, am I late? <laughs> of course you're late. Everything is almost done. You should have stayed home. Can I come in? Of course, you can come in, of course. <laughs> <laughs> God, so much food and so few people. I'm not gonna eat all that. Pig's gonna have a banquet with all those hey, leftovers. Hey, so much food when Armandita comes over. Afterwards, we take home the leftovers. If not, they will spoil. Got to be with me, Margot. The campaign is almost upon us. Caesar's gonna be with us. Have you told her? He said he'd be here this afternoon. He'll probably get here tonight. <laughs> I'm talking about Isa. Have you told her? Does she know? Hey, Armando. How much do you want for this red devil? Huh? For this animal? Yeah. I won't sell him for any money in the world. Say when I broke up. Did you hear me? I'm telling you, Elise, when I broke up. So what am I expected to do? I left home. So, you want to stay here? We always helped you each other. We're cousins. Amanda doesn't like any stranger staying in the house. Can you talk to him? I'll speak to him. Maybe you can stay in this morning. Mm -hmm. Don't rough me too hard, I'll get dizzy. <laughs> oh, my head. Lisa, get me the car keys. You're leaving? I've got important business. Found the keys in the coat. Hey, poet. So, I've got a court date in the morning. What do I know about good or evil? Look at me. All from good family. La creme de la creme. Serious? Responsible? The best. I stay. He asked me to do something dirty, and I didn't know how to do it. It's going to get you some coffee.
Come on in, I'll take you home. Come on, come on. I just want to talk to you. I thought maybe you were out of town. Yes, I thought it would be nice if, uh, if we could talk. We never get a chance to be alone. I thought it would be nice for us to just sit and talk to each other, woman to woman. Isa, I have, um, I have a theory that, uh, that a woman has a right to the truth. That if a woman is deprived of the truth, she's deprived of her freedom of choice. And I believe that everybody should be free. Don't you? Well, uh, there's something that I have to tell you, and uh, I want to be sure that uh, that you want to be told. Do you want to know the truth? Always. Why are you so upset? I've brought you uh, a clipping from yesterday's newspaper. He's a bastard, but he's like my brother. Did you attend the wedding? Yes. Am I make love to you? No. You never made love to me. He's a bastard, not that much of a bastard. I told you he's like my brother. Isa. Don't hate me. Please.
temor a mi no te acerca a mí. Deja ya este miedo y hallarás felicidad. Que no te importa el mundo y que la gente murmure. Si un beso por amor vale más que todo esto. Abrázame y bésame. Que mi boca y un beso te enseñará lo que es amor. Abrázame. Lisa, play that song again, please. You really like that song, don't you? Mm -hmm. You fix this house very nice. And the plants are beautiful, too. The patio at the house, it's nice. I'm always fixing it. The house needs some painting. Funny Polo never mentioned anything about it. Paul? Hmm. Polo hasn't shown his face in the house for about uh, six months. Drink your coffee, it's gonna get cold. That cute, it's, it's beautiful. You know what? The other day, the lawyer came by the house and he said they are gonna put up the poles and bring down the electricity. What the hell was the lawyer doing in my house? The lawyer. Obdulio, his driver, he needed some water for the uh, car and uh, the lawyer came in and said, hello. You don't believe me. Ask Mija, she knows. What was Mija doing in my house? Nothing. She she just went to see me. Can I try your cuties? Sure. You can keep it. No, no, no. All I want is just to try a little bit so basically how it looks to me. I said. Keep it. That's the head. I should have left before. Good Lord, you really came in early today. <laughs> All day long, I've been busy. I've been wanting to be alone with you. The factory doesn't have any water, okay? Well, they don't know how to fix it. Hello, Mr. Ted. I, I was just about to leave. No problem. What brings you here? Nothing. I, I just came to see Isa and uh, let her know how things are at her house. This is her house. This is your house. Excuse me. Don't forget to um, let me know what happened, OK? Yeah, I'll let you know with Polo. Yeah, I, uh, don't forget to get my plans.
Aren't you having any steak? No. What is that that you're eating? Pig's feet. It's very tasty. You want some? <laughs> no, thank you. I'll stick to my steak. It's very nice. You like it. Where did you get that? Paula got it for me when he went to town. I cooked it myself. You should have some. It's very nice. Isabel, I buy you the best food money can buy. Why do you have to eat that stuff you people eat? Polo, I have a lot of work to do at the factory, so you can buy Isabel all the things that she needs for the beach. However, Donna Candida will go with her. I want you to stay at the house. I have a lot of work to do there. By the way, I bought a new pair of shoes. You can keep the old ones. Take my candles to Rita. I sent Chinto's girl over. I wonder if she took them over. I gotta light my candles tonight. It's All Souls Day. You promise you take them yourself. It's just that I don't like going there anymore. 
There is no place to send a little girl either. What do you mean? What's going on? Nothing's going on. It's just that I don't like to go there anymore. Hmm. They told me there was a big fight the other night and someone was cut. You never told me that. It's none of my business, hmm? What's going on in my house? Nothing, nothing. It's just that there's a, a lot of people there all the time. You know? People always, you know, you know, having, having fun. You know? And how long has this been going on? Long time. But who? Who is it that goes to my house all the time? How do I know? People, you know? Um, the friends of yours, you know? The ones that were always eating. Armando, does he go there? I don't. I... I think so. I... Uh, I believe so. Jesus, Isabel, what the hell are all these candles in this room for? For the blessed souls in purgatory. Well, that's all very well, but we can't burn the house down. What are you doing? Don't do that. You're not supposed to burn them out. We're not going to leave them here. You ignorant! You're going to attract the evil spirits. Get out! Get out! Oh, Isabel, you can put them somewhere else. You can light candles again. It's too late. You're not supposed to put them out. They're supposed to go out by themselves. Oh, no. I don't think I've ever seen so many people that were that emotionally involved and affected. But there's so many things to, to tie up. There's Isabel's money, there's the church, now the thing with the Monsignor. If you use the program to attack the Monsignor... Oh, wait a minute. Who is going to attack who? I don't want the program to lose credibility. Will you do me a favor, Don Pepe? You worry about the money for the program, and I'll worry about the content, all right? Sincerely, Mickey. The only reason I sponsor your program, it's because you are a responsible commentator. Sincerely, Don Pepe. I thought it was because I had good ratings, and it sells your product. If you start making trouble with Monsignor, I'll take away the advertising. Yeah, but you're laughing because you know he can't afford to let you go. Uh... Where your ratings are today, you will get another sponsor right away. I hope you're right, my friend. I hope you're right.
Paolo. What a life. What a mess. What do we do now? What we gotta do now is um, move along. Polo, time passes by. What we gotta learn to do is survive. Mm-hmm. Don't be silly. You'll see, you'll see. Hey. You can still get some of that booze for me. Yeah, I can get it. You get it for me, and we're gonna be in business. You and I, we're gonna make a lot of money. You just get it for me. I'll take care of the rest. We're gonna make a bundle. Ah. He's sleeping. He sh should have let me know you were coming. Hello. From now on, there are many things we have to change here, my child. Isa, the, are we going to charge for it? Listen, having fun is not enough. If they want to have fun, let them pay. From now on, we charge. We charge for everything. They're going to pay us? <laughs> Gee, this is getting better all the time. single? My man left me. Look, I want no trouble in here. You got experience? No. What's your name? Cornucopia. Change it. 
Gee, Isa, can I change my name too? I would like to be called Charlie. Yeah, like Charlie Temple. I even have the two little holes in my cheek. Just like her. Everyone says so. Just like her. Isa, there is a girl who wants to talk to you. What's your name? Carmen Said. What can I do for you? I need a job. Um, you have a family? Yes. Look, um, I'm gonna run this place like a business. To work in here, you gotta be on your toes. I understand. Oh, um, one more thing. No pimps. I want no pimps here. Pimps? Pimps. Who sent you here? My mother. How old are you? Twenty-two. Um, have to let you know later. Okay? Oh, you just say... Look, go home. I have nothing for you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. What happened? Her mother sent her. There's nothing for that girl in this house. Macho! Move that wood uh, over here and shine my car. I'm gonna use it tonight. Hey, did uh, you get that man to help you guys? Yes, ma'am. Paul, are you still working on that wall? Move along. Isa! Isa! There she is. There's that famous lady. The whole town knows. Hell, half the island knows. Where the hell have you been? In hell. That's where uh, some people would like to see me. Especially in the assembly. They'd like to get rid of this senator. Been reading about you. Lisa, there was a warrant against you. <laughs> For running a house of prostitution. It's true, Isa. I took care of it. Lisa. Let's talk some business. Yeah. Let's talk business. We're going to find some kind of action around this town. Yeah, but you're always complaining, you know? But you need a little time and show up. Hey, mister. Come here, come, come, come. You want, uh, you want something, you know? You know, uh, girls, girls. Do you know where Elizabeth's place is? Do I know where Elizabeth's place is? This is her car. Okay. I have her car. Come on, you guys, Elizabeth girls. Place. I hey, thank hey, you, hey, you hey, there. Hey, 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 this hey, is hey, it. Hey, oh, to Elizabeth's place. Hey, yes. Hey, we got Shirley Temple. Excuse me, push, please, push. I'll push, push, right, push. push. Right, you want girls? Go. You want girls? Go. You push, push, push. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm running here. It's a kind of a picnic. I pay taxes here, man. Lisa, I'm an old hostel. Forget about old hostel. 
I pay for everything. I pay my taxes. You're gonna have to pay. You're gonna have to kill me. Why are you pushing my girls around? I am a lady. I'm here by mistake. Who sent you, Bermudas? You are under arrest. Just follow me. Follow me. Yes, Isa, yes. At this hour? What? Yes, I know. He's another one of our enemies. Yes, a regular bastard. But listen, Isa, listen, hold it, hold it, please. He cannot do anything without the judge. No, no, anything. He cannot do anything without the judge. That's all. Okay, uh, put Bermudez at the phone, please. Bermudez, say, do you like your uniform? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They are the mayor here. Yes, of course, the mayor. Uh, you like it? Okay. So, don't do anything to Isabel. No, no, no. No, anything, nothing, nothing at all. Or with her business, okay? Do you understand me? I'm unclear. Okay, now put the judge. Yes, the judge. Yes? Judge, the mayor here. Listen, have you heard about that vacancy in Vieques? Uh, or the other one in Culebra? You heard? Why do I ask? Because it seems to me that you are, you are, you are trying to make me, yeah, to force you to go to Vieques or to Culebra. Uh -huh. Yes, I know you are the judge. And, and who, who made you a judge? Yes, I know. I know, Joaquin, I know. Okay, I can undo you, and you know it. Am I clear? Yes. At three in the morning, the raid was supposed to start at midnight. I look after that. Okay. Am I clear? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Give my best to your wife. Bermudez. Take these people to wherever they came from. They are on the top, and they give the orders, Bermudez. And I'm getting too old to be transferred. It's getting late. The attorney is in from San Juan and wants some of your stew. Only that? Well, maybe a little bit of white flesh first. But first, is he going to eat or...? Oh, yeah, but, uh, listen, I want to meet with him and you first. And then... Uh, where are we going to? That's all taken care of. You're wrong, Joaquin. We can't do things like that. We have to get rid of that son of a bitch. Dinner is ready. We have to get rid of him and put one of our men in his place. Oh, stop talking. Let's have dinner. The food is getting cold. What do you want us to do? Put some jerk in his place? What the hell? Do you want me to work with a judge that is an enemy, enemy of my administration? Oh, that's the one that issued a warrant for me. See? You obviously know about all the money you have been putting into our campaign. But that was taken care of. What we have to do now is see how we can make the best of it. The best of it? Let's see who has more clout, that jerk or me. Oh, you. You, Joaquin. Naturally. Oh, Isabel, this is heavenly. <laughs> I made it especially for you. Armando, you're having dinner with us? 
No, I think I'm gonna have a drink first. Don't forget the avocado. Armando was telling me about some problem you have with the river wind trains. Yes, we've been having a bit of a problem there. Submit the project. Mm -hmm. I'll see what I can do. I'll support it. Rita, the wine. She left. Forget it yourself. Did the delivery of rum arrive? Mm -hmm. And the cokes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Polo, mm -hmm. and the ice. Do you have enough ice? Mm -hmm. Don't forget the cash register. Mm -hmm. You have to, have to have enough cash in it. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. don't worry. I'm going to get you an assistant. Mm -hmm. Hey, easy. Come on, let's have a drink. I sit down. I, I, I want to talk to you. <laughs> no problem, no problem. I've always been a woman of simple tastes. I'm bored by big cities. Besides being the most polite man in the world, Puerto Ricans are just charming. Come, come. Are you Puerto Rican? No, I'm from Spain. intent to rot here. I wouldn't like that either. Someone asked me to marry him. <laughs> the doctor? <laughs> don't believe everything men tell you. Sometimes I don't believe the things men do to me. Just because a woman of certain class is forced to do certain things doesn't mean one is a slave. What really fucks me up if that is, that with all her rules and regulations, doesn't want us to date our friends. It's the only way. Many men abuse women like us. The problem is, we keep getting those trashy customers, like a dough sailor last night. How can such a handsome man be so rough? My, oh my. I never expected those blonde, blue-eyed men be like that. Isabel should be more careful. She's drinking too much. Has the film gotten there yet? 
Tony, if the film doesn't come, I'm not going to read it. Okay? No way. Is Janet there? No, she's not. Great. She's supposed to bring the official police report. Look, I'm, I'm going to go with the two interviews and the medical report. And that is the show, okay? Yeah. I have, you know, material for 20 shows. Yeah. Hey, who killed her? How do I know? Hi. Oh, you put the pot, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the travel agent, what happened? The travel agent, yeah, I, I saw her. Mm hmm And did you know that she traveled around the world twice? Enjoy your trips. I mean, you see, you appreciate the historical sites. What? People say that she just wanted to have her picture taken to show off. She was a customer of that agency for 15 years. You know, the police say that she wasn't a target. That apparently somebody wanted to shoot one of the hookers and, and killed her by mistake. And some people say that she was just there doing the shooting and got killed by accident. They insist it was by accident. Why? Well, because they say that she didn't have any enemies. Look, all I want to do is find out who and what the lady one, was when she was alive. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, three, four, one. We should not tolerate this. It's not that easy. We can say no to the army. Ma, are you colorblind? Please tell Either me. you throw her out, out, or I'll call the president. It's a shame. These are your friends. Uh, please come in. Sit down. Sit down. Yes. Well, you know, I've been looking forward to meeting you because. Well, your, what should I call it, your place is very famous outside of Puerto Rico, too. Did you know that? In Cuba and Panama and, well, throughout the, the whole Caribbean. You're a very famous woman. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Well, the soldiers, when they go on leave, you know, the only thing they want to do is to go to your place. And may I say that we, well, frankly, we are not against it. We, we approve. Of course, the army has rules, and uh, these rules must be obeyed. Uh, they are rules about hygiene and uh, personal security. You see, well, sometimes things, well, they seem to get a little out of hand at your place, and, and well, there are fights, and actually are. Our boys are, are really fighting men, you know. <laughs> well, I, I guess we should uh, talk about business now. Yes, let's uh, hear what you have to say. Thank you. Uh, what I'm suggesting is that you sign an exclusive contract with the United States Army, and we would guarantee steady clientele and a safe business. Well, there would be protection, too. The, the military police would guard your establishment. Oh. <laughs> that sounds wonderful, Mr. Captain. But um, what about the, the civilians? I'm sorry? Well, can the other customers come in? The civilians? Oh, no, 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 no. This would be exclusively for military personnel. Y you understand. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm afraid the answer is no. What? I have customers, you see. Um, I'm sorry. I don't like your offer. You see, my people first. Sorry, <laughs> no offense. Well, yes, but it's a good deal, Miss Isabel. Think about it, Isa. He's a gentleman. 
No deal. I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. Well, I, I won't insist, but um, if you uh, do change your mind in the near future, here is my telephone, and I wish you would please give me a call. Well, I, th I think it would be a good deal for all of us. What's that? It's a cotillion, Isa. For society girls. That's how they make their social debut. <laughs> this is my present for you, Paula. It belonged to the first man I truly loved. Happy 
birthday. See? What is it? Wow! One of my customers last night was a detective. And as long as I couldn't ask him for any money, he gave me a tip, a blackjack. Put the radio on. I want to see if uh, Felipe married Adelita. It isn't on today. They're having a ball game today. Put the game on then. I think it hasn't started. But let me see. Isa, Isa, there is a lady outside. She wants to see you. I think she is Don Gerardo Ignacio's wife. She's very angry. Here, take this with you, just in case. <laughs> oh, I sent the Petrin to the market. Hmm? Ask her, where is my husband? Where is her husband? Um, tell her husbands are not allowed in here. Tell her she's lying. Husbands are allowed here. Um, tell her she's wrong. Uh, only young men are allowed in here. This is a school for girls. School for girls, my eye. This is a whorehouse. Lady, you're making a fool of yourself. I know my husband, Geraldo, is inside. And I want my husband out this minute. And if you don't bring him out, I'm going to bring the police. You're going to bring the police in here? Yes, I'm going to bring the police here. Well, you bring the police in here. You can bring the army if you want. They'll have a good time. I'm going to bring the police because I want my husband, Geraldo, out of this place. You bitch. Let's go, Jorge.
Listen. I want her to come here so she can listen to what I'm saying. Maria! Don't bring me any coffee. I don't want any of you fooling around with the help. This is a business, you hear me? A business! Where is Amelia? She's playing around with Paulo on the bicycle. It's not. What's the matter with you? Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! What the hell is going on around here? You women! I said again and again that if you want to stay here, you gotta behave like decent people! You have to... to... Oh. The love of God, child. Don't say that. What do you know? I'm the one who's caught up. Isabel. All right. Bail him out. Give him whatever he needs. like a mother to me. She adopted me, and when I was seven, she brought me here. My uh, grandparents died. My mother disappeared. And then uh, one day, while I was staying with uh, neighbors, my godfather showed up and took me to Isabel. nothing for you here. Tell that broad to take care of you. Lies. Lies. <laughs> you understand? Jealousy. Gossip. I ain't never been with any other woman, Isa. Get out. Hey, uh, hey remember the kid I was telling you about? My godson? He's an orphan, Isa. No home. Manolin. It's a man already. Hmm. 
Tell the lady your name. Manolin, I know his name already. You hungry? You shouldn't keep bad company. I want to find out about Mario. I mean, I've heard a lot of things. Mario? Huh? Yeah. I know Mario. One night I was drinking with Isabel. And she told me so many things about Mario. Well, you sweep over me, I won't get married. Hey, Isabel, huh? <laughs> How's business? Fine, fine. Huh? Have you been there? Yeah, uh, ten years ago. At a fire, you broke it up with a gun, remember? <laughs> oh! So you haven't been there for all that time? Oh. Well, there's still time. Sure. When you return, look us up. I'll buy you a drink. Sure, sure. You're letting me off uh, in a week, you know? I'm getting up early on account of good behavior. That's nice. Yeah. Well, we're down in Maragüez. Yeah. Come on up. Look us up. The other place too small? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. You, you're known the whole world over. You know, I was in, in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and this Chinese, he says to me, hey, well, I'm going to go to Puerto Rico. You know what? He wanted to come to Isabel's place. <laughs> that was about a year ago. Oh. Yeah. So you have been in on me for a short while? Yeah. I go in and out of the Merchant Marines as if it was my own house. <laughs> Must be interesting, a sailor's life. All that traveling and seeing the world. I had this one made in the uh, Philippines. I'd rather have uh, rum than whiskey. You don't like whiskey? Well, uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Trips. Wife. The children. I was married once. To a wife. When I joined the Navy, we separated. She didn't want to come home with me. <laughs> so I wish she would have filled the field. Poor little angel. God knows what you did to her. <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh, no. Legal possession of a gun. I did six months for it. A loser. Mm. What? <laughs> a German pistol. Brand new. Fire a whole clip on a single burst.
What do you consider gave her the most pleasure? The Yuli Three Kings Day party she gives for children. It's tomorrow. Are they going to still hold it without her? Sure. Her cousin and her family, they keep with the tradition. They fought a lot, but they lasted a long time together because he was always going back and forth in his trips. Last year, it was really something. What, what would you like? Would you like this one? Oh, good. And how about you, Mr. Oh, that big one over there? Oh, you go over there and get it yourself. Give it to me. Oh, it's Mary. Oh, my God. That's Isn't beautiful. Going to give us a hint? Uh, I don't know. He went out. He'll be back later. Ah, thank you. All right, what do you want? Okay, you want this big one? That's enormous. Oh, how beautiful. Lisa? Ah. Dirty cheat, you scum. Don't come near me again, you bastard. I respected Isabel. They had to. Oh, they didn't love her, but they respected Isabel. You know, you have to because uh, Isabel was a power. You know? Certainly was. Yeah. What's your philosophy of life, by the way? What is it? Well, you have to uh, survive, you know? It's uh, very important. That's the word with you, survive. Uh, that's what we're doing here. I know that. That's why you were the only guest that um, demanded cash and uh, certain considerations. <laughs> yeah, everybody's making money out of Isabel after she's dead. <laughs> you know, uh, so why shouldn't I make money out of Isabel? Politicians do. You're making money out of Isabel. Absolutely. What are you doing here interviewing me? You know, you come here because uh, you're being paid for this, so I'm paying for this, too. We'll be cutting the commercial, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. You like it? It's good. It's Puerto Rican coffee. You can still get it. <laughs> it's been a long time since I thought about these things. At the beginning, Isabel was uh, suspicious, stubborn. Proud. When she had her business, she was generous. She was a unique product of our Ponce society. As class conscious and as color conscious as any of us. In her business, she created a world where the white establishment came to her. She found a way to survive in a society that would have rejected her totally. She drifted away from me when I opposed U.S. intervention in Vietnam. Hmm. Then you must have made some enemies here in Ponce. Oh, no. I am too rich. <laughs> When was the last time that you saw Isabel? 
The last time I saw Isabel, she was praying in front of Armando's grave. Isabel! Oh, hello. Hello. You look very well. It's been a long time. I still live in the same address. I know. I know that. Now I'm in business. I know that too. Is that why you haven't been to the house? Of course not. It's just that... Uh, well, I'm not single anymore and things are different. My life is more complicated. That is exactly the reason why I have not been to your house. Well, maybe things are different for you now. But for me, there's not much difference in what I did and what I do now. At least now, I make my own decisions. Send in the next one. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Monsignor. Please come in. Won't you sit down? Uh, please. And how may I help you, my daughter? Monsignor, last Sunday you said the cathedral needed some repairs. Honestly, it does need repairs. The church's monuments are part of our city's cultural heritage. The people must realize it is their responsibility to preserve them. Monsignor, I would like to help. It's a very expensive undertaking. Monsignor, if you would let me. But we have many people in our parish who are capable of helping with the financing. I would like to. It's a great deal of money. Please come in. The lady has a donation for our church. Thank you. Thank you, my daughter. Good afternoon, my senior. Is it true that people who die in mortal sin are denied the funeral services by the Catholic Church? Is it true that their bodies are buried without receiving the benefit of the last blessing? I have a case here of a young Hernan Herrera. Cause of death certified by a forensic doctor as a suicide. Now then, as a suicide, unfortunately, didn't he die in mortal sin? Then why did the 
the Catholic Church. Allow funeral services to be held in the church for this young man. Deserving, I'm sure. Why? Could it be that there is a divine law for the prominent families on this island? And another for the rest of us. Huh? <laughs> the hell is the matter with you? Nothing. The hell I know. Oh, we need time. Let's go. There's nothing going on around here anyway. Come, let's go to the house. I'll give you some of that wine I brought in from Spain. You like it? These are the words that come to my mind today by God's will. It seems that you do not know that the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. There is no way out. Do not expect any hope. Know you all that neither the fornicators, nor the adulterers, nor the sodomites, nor the effeminates, nor the idolaters, nor the thieves, nor the rapacious, nor the greedy, nor the inebriates shall inherit the kingdom of heaven.